Not too many players can say they've scored a hat-trick against Liverpool, but Terry Gibson can point to one, and he's also been on target in Wimbledon's last two matches. Bobby Gould was Gibson's manager at Coventry on that previous occasion, and tonight he keeps the Wimbledon side, which won at Tottenham on Saturday. Four of the starting lineup are 20 years old or younger. So what a task for them against the multi-talented Liverpool outfit. And following Sunday's victory over Everton, they too field the same team with Ray Houghton and Jan Mulby, again the substitutes. Referee is Leicester Shapter from Torquay, quite well known at Plough Lane, having taken charge of the FA Cup tie in which Wimbledon beat Everton last season. So away go Wimbledon in all blue against Liverpool in all red. The original match on October the 10th was washed out. And now Liverpool bring this proud record to Plough Lane. Here's Barnes. It's a lovely turn. And in prolific form. Onside. But there was a case of John Barnes making something for himself out of very little. And Dave Besant had to be quick to get down there and hold on. Beardsley. Then Goodyear. Then Whelan. Beardsley again. Onside, Barnes, and Aldridge again beautifully placed. The cross just made him stretch that little bit further than he wanted to. He made the run at the right time, John Aldridge, and there was maybe a shade too much depth on John Barnes' cross. Still a cunning and clinical move. Now the wind is uh, quite strong here tonight. Johnston, Whelan, Lawrence, Johnston again, Aldridge, oh goodness, Dave Besant misjudged the looping header from John Aldridge and must have been relieved to scramble that away, Gale, forward by Bedford, Sanchez heads it on, so too did Ryan, the overhead kick there from Fashionu. Fashionu. he's really been on his game this season, John Fashionu. fair weather, scored at Tottenham on Saturday was nearly in there again Bedford across played that nicely Hansen's header forward by Ryan and away by Nickel Goodyear. Sanchez. He's having a good spell at the moment, Robelar. Five consecutive clean sheets in the league. Back in again by Whelan. In goes Aldridge and Johnston, and neither one could convert that. and Fashionu. Well played by the captain. Oh! And Fairweather came 
charging through after a misunderstanding between the Liverpool defenders who were just a shade too casual as that ball was played along the back four and Fairweather saw his chance this is Johnston oh Gale's mistake and Ryan covers for him well, it makes you wonder why we haven't seen a goal there's certainly been opportunity one or two errors for good measure and plenty of lively attacking play Gillespie oh good running by McMahon from midfield he was onside Fashionu on to Gibson nice touch by him but couldn't finish was sweetly done by Terry Gibson he caught the shot would have been a goal to remember perhaps then Ryan trying to pump it back for Wimbledon Gannon but good pressure by Liverpool there it's Beardsley and Barnes who break McMahon making a run so is Aldridge still Barnes McMahon, Aldridge, good save by Dave Besant. Quite where he came from, I don't think John Aldridge knew. Glorious move by Liverpool. And McMahon, who made a terrific run from midfield to get on the end of the cross, did the unselfish thing and headed back to Aldridge, who was better placed. It was surely the right move. But when Aldridge tried to bury the header, there was Besant, who recovered superbly his position this good yet now it's Ryan and Gibson trying to hold it up to find Sanchez Gannon is on the left and the are doing the safest thing there he had uh, Fairweather coming in on him and Fashionu just behind Fashionu may have taken Something of a bang there. But doesn't need the attention. Only of the Liverpool defenders. As Gannon prepares to take the corner. And that was Fashionel. And away by Johnston from the post. One number nine denied the other there. Corner again. This time it's Gale. Well, there have been a string of corners here. Nine to Wimbledon and six to Liverpool in this first half. Which reflects the amount of attacking play that we've seen. Well, Liverpool played some flowing, fanciful football in that half. Wimbledon played some fierce functional football but it was down partly to the two goalkeepers but there was nothing on the end of it Bruce Grobola looked assured and Dave Besant certainly made one very good save indeed half time Wimbledon nil Liverpool nil well, Paul Walsh, Nigel Spatman, John Walk, Jan Mulby and Ray Houghton what would other first division teams give for uh, just one of those five perhaps they're all among the Liverpool reserves or subs tonight Liverpool won here on their first visit last season 3-1 but Wimbledon have fond memories of winning at Anfield 2-1 and here's Aldridge closing in at the beginning of the second half tonight on Goodyear forcing the corner Barnes to Nickel, Gillespie has come forward. This is McMahon. And here comes Dave 
Besson to use that ground in front of his penalty area. Short route, really, to Fairweather. Strong on his left foot, playing at the moment on the right-hand side of the field. But pretty confident on the ball, as you could see from that. And Sanchez. Nickel. Here comes Whelan. Good ball, Johnston. Whelan's trying to stay on side here. Two others up as well, Aldridge and Barnes. Whelan. McMahon's now made a forward run also. Oh, and that was an important header run there by young Vaughan Ryan. He had to make that. And Goodyear in difficulties. Aldridge away from the goalkeeper. It was Beardsley who made the block and Aldridge, who seems to be thwarted at every turn by Besson tonight, found the big goalkeeper and got his angle right again there. Goodyear initially who drove the ball against Beardsley came out to Aldridge invitingly it seemed but uh, Besson was there Gibson to Fashionu on to Gannon early ball in with the left foot Gibson and hoofed away by Nickel. Gale's header Sanchez again Beardsley just inside him he'll settle for the throw Aldridge with Gale behind him Lawrenson Beardsley Ooh, goalkeeper started to come out but uh, his gesture afterwards suggested he felt that um, Brian Gale did the right thing. We've been playing for an hour. Liverpool have the corner. Barnes, Fashionu, Johnston, Gibson. And the Liverpool supporters starting to raise the tempo on the terraces. Liverpool themselves make a change on the field Craig Johnston is the player who is being called off and he will be replaced by Ray Houghton the recent arrival from Oxford United who's had the one game so far at Luton position wide on the right wearing the number 12 shirt here's a first chance for Houghton then and he's gone for everybody oh what an impact by the substitute what a wonderful moment for Ray Houghton he's not even on the pitch a minute his debut at Luton tried to do just that and uh, the shot was saved but he went through everybody there made the most of what was on and 
slotted the ball in nicely. So, Liverpool take the lead. To the delight of their supporters. And Wimbledon now faced with a very different situation. So that was the first goal for Liverpool by Ray Houghton. sewn it up there a bad back pass by Thorne and Beardsley in on the goalkeeper Dave Besant kept Wimbledon in the match well, Wimbledon now must uh, adjust their tactics somewhat and they're going to make a change John Gannon will be the player brought off and he'll be replaced by one of the most popular men ever to wear the shirt here at Plough Lane Alan Cork whose testimonial year it is and he's made more appearances and scored more goals for Wimbledon than any other player in their football league history. And Beardsley, it was a mistake by Gale, really, and Beardsley's passed Besant again. And Goodyear covering. And Besant telling Gale what he thought about it. They seem to leave it uh, to each other, the defenders there. And Liverpool must be thinking that they should have put this match beyond all reasonable doubt with a second goal by now. Here's Lawrenson. Nicely hooked in there. And here comes Houghton again. Oh, and that's hit the frame of the goal as well. It's beautifully hooked in by Beardsley. just laying back and McMahon going for a spectacular finish and Liverpool have turned on some style in this last quarter of an hour that's for sure Beardsley Whelan oh and Houghton closing in again oh mistake by Besant Surely Houghton, Aldridge, oh. <laughs> I think Aldridge almost stopped Houghton short, they certainly got mixed up, it was too easy, well it was a relief to Besant who would have been embarrassed to have that gone in. Influence of the substitute, apparent again in the last two or three Liverpool attacks. And what's also apparent is the sheer quality and variety of this Liverpool team. They've just taken the game on in the last 15 or 20 minutes and shown a difference in class. You, Wimbledon, battlers to the last, not out of things yet. But will they be now? How it is from Aldridge's pass. Barnes coming in for the kill. Number 10. Good save, Besant. Barnes. Goodyear's there. Beardsley. Well, quite how the second goal hasn't arrived. I'm having a clue. All sorts of desperate defending. Near misses. through and still not Besson saves this time and it 
it's fair weather for Wimbledon. Oh, Liverpool on the march again. Steve Nickel going all the way, perhaps. He did, well saved. Fashionu against Gillespie, and you have to say, in the last five minutes alone, Liverpool have had five clear-cut chances. time there Beardsley is the outlet but McMahon for once misplaces his pass Wimbledon need to remind themselves that they're still in with the chance of saving the game fortuitously perhaps in some ways 12 minutes left still 1-0 Fashionu into Fairweather, and this is Gibson. Fashionu. And Ryan. Oh, and Fairweather! The equaliser! I don't think Carlton Fairweather knew too much about it, but it's certainly his goal. Fashionu crossed from the right. Vaughan Ryan had the shot, and the deflection by Fairweather took it past Grobola. And Wimbledon with Bobby Gould on the line, have equalised when, for the last ten minutes, the game seemed to be going further and further away from them. Just shows you what an unpredictable game football can be. Liverpool's failure to get the killer goal seems to have rebounded on them, for the time being anyway. Aldridge. Well, that really was an extraordinary few minutes. Ronnie Whelan, who couldn't uh, put things to rights there for Liverpool. But they must be asking themselves how they're found to be in this position. Dave Besson may have some idea. He made a couple of very important saves in that period. But at the other end, his side had equalised. Sanchez. Gibson and Court coming in behind Lawrenson. Another substitution coming up. Terry Gibson is going off, and we're going to see a young man of 19 make his league debut. Ian Hazel, who was born just down the road from here at Merton, so he, he is the original local lad. And he's on for Wimbledon. to the last minute. Cork and Gillespie, Hazel. Time being added on now for stoppages. There goes Beardsley. Fairweather. Crowded out. Beardsley. Whelan. Barnes pulling away. Goodyear's header. McMahon. Barnes. He 
He's forced the corner. John Barnes. Quickly to Lawrence. And Wimbledon, they come out with the second side to prevent Liverpool from winning in the league. It's now ten wins and two draws. The one point here will be sufficient to take Liverpool back to the top above Arsenal, albeit on goal difference and with games, of course, still in hand.